So I've talked about being able to say things are not okay and that it's okay to not be okay. It's okay to say things are not good enough and that this kind of a hard statement can help to shake us into action. Because of course, simply telling ourselves everything's okay over and over, unless we really feel that this is true, that can sort of calm us down in the moment to say, okay, it's, it's not so bad, it could be worse. Calming us down from the feeling of dissatisfaction in the moment, but then ultimately not fueling change, not leading us to do anything to improve our situation. So I think there's an important distinction to be made, and this, this is what, something that helped me to be able to use this tool. Because when you say things are not okay, or they are okay, it's, there's two different ways to look at it, two different domains. There is one domain in which we are always okay. I believe that we each have an inherent value as beings, as creatures, with consciousness, humans, living beings, we are wonderful things. I mean, the beyond our understanding, uh, the wonder of what it means to have a human life. And we, it's really like a magical thing. We are magical creatures of incredible power. And we have this inherent value in us as people. And I, I believe, I, I can't find a way to absolutely come to this through reason and, and logic. There may be a way to it. But I really take it as something that I simply believe in. I simply have faith. And maybe it's connected to my belief that life is amazing. Just the chance to have this. The chance to have something rather than nothing. The chance to have consciousness and to have experience. These things are amazing. And I simply feel that way. Maybe I can't explain logically why it's amazing to be alive versus not. But if there was nothing, then uh, there'd be no logic to talk about. There'd be nothing to say. So just the fact that having a chance to experience life and to have this consciousness and this existence, that is amazing. And we as creatures that can have this experience and have this consciousness, I believe that that itself is something that is amazing in and of itself. Simply by being here and by existing, we are these incredible beings and we have value no matter what. And in this domain, in this sense, this is where I believe that we are all okay. We are all good, no matter what the situation in our life is, no matter what else is going on, no matter anything that you could say is wrong with somebody, even the worst people in the world, uh, anybody you can imagine, simply by being human, by having this life, we have a value that cannot be taken away. Sometimes using the word dignity is good. There's a certain dignity that comes with being this way. Maybe it's like a spiritual value. And I'm sure there's a lot more to say about this. I take it as simply something that I hold to be true. It seems to be true based on my experience. But I wonder whether there are Th more things to say about it that can help to make it more clear and uh, maybe people that don't believe they have any value at all, maybe something that could help them to believe that 
No, I mean, your life may be messed up, maybe not, may be some serious issues, but no matter how bad it is, the fact, if you're still alive to think about it, then you have this incredible value. So when, when somebody says, you know, you're not okay, you're bad, you're, there, there's something wrong with you, it's important, I believe, to not take it away, to not take away from that confidence that we have that inherent value, no matter how bad your life is. So that's where I think it's right to say, no, it's okay. And yes, you can change your perspective rather than change your, your life in that sense. You don't have to do anything in your life to prove that you have inherent value. You have it by nature of being alive. And you, you don't need to do anything uh, to defend that, to, to show it, it's, it's simply automatically there. And so that's the case where, yes, I believe you can absolutely say, no matter what, that you are okay and you are good. You are fundamentally good. So that's that domain, really like a spiritual domain, a sense of your fundamental value as a being. But then there's the other domain that's often confused with that is how are you living your life? How, what are you doing? What are your actions? What are your daily actions? Your daily thoughts, your daily words, your daily deeds. What are you doing with your life? your incredible life that you have. Incredible in the sense of you have this incredible power to live, the power to be alive. What are you doing with it? Now, it's in this domain that I see there is no, there is not the same sense of automatically being good and automatically being right. We have the ability to do all kinds of actions from the greatest actions to the absolute most horrible actions and anything in between. And how we choose to live our lives is, is highly variable. It's highly variable in how we can judge it. And it isn't automatically okay. So this is why I think it's important to separate these two domains. And in the spiritual domain, as a being, you are good automatically, no matter what, and nobody can take it away. So have that confidence, but then you can be able to say, in the domain of how I'm living my life, I am not happy with how I'm living my life. I am not living my life in a good way. Still a good being, but not living it in a good way. So that I can accept, I can tell myself the hard truth. If I need to tell myself the way you are living your life is not good, you need to change. I can tell myself that hard truth. And it's not saying that I, as a person, am, am broken and bad as a person. It's the way of life that can sometimes, in some cases, be bad or broken. But the bright side is that because you cannot touch that core goodness that we have, you, you can change because the only thing that can be bad are actions. Actions are what are good or bad. And it could, you could extend the idea of actions, words, ideas, thoughts, all these things. These things can be good or bad can make you better, make you worse, make the world better, make the world worse. But it's not you, it's your actions. So if you see somebody that you say it's a bad person, I would define a bad person is someone who regularly, repeatedly, habitually performs bad actions. It's not that in their essence, their core, they're a bad person. 
And if you happen to feel this way about yourself, then the same thing applies. That I would say, if you think you're bad or you're not good or there's something wrong with you, you're mediocre or whatever it is, it's really a matter of your chosen and repeated actions. Now, they could be conscious or unconscious actions. It could be things you kind of automatically do. We don't have automatic, perfect self-control. But these are things that can change. Everything that is bad about you is something that could, in some way, be changed. So, I like to keep these two domains separate. Remember, you are absolutely okay in who you are. But now, you can separately ask yourself, how am I living my life? Is my life living up to that goodness? Or am I dishonoring that goodness through my actions? So we can be completely honest and say, if you see an action that you're, you're taking and you don't like it, it's absolutely okay to say this is a bad action. And it doesn't mean that you're bad, but it might mean that it may be time to consider what you are doing with your life, how you are choosing to act with this amazing life that you have a chance to experience.